Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla has just rolled out Firefox version 144, which is now the latest release. And after the update has been applied, version and build 144.0. Now there's quite a lot going on with this latest version upgrade, but first of all, just to focus on the security side of things. With 144, we get 14 vulnerabilities that have been patched and seven of them are high impact, which is just below critical. And thankfully, there are no critical any zero days that need to be patched. So 14 security fixes have rolled out in total with this latest version upgrade. Now, in regards to new features, we have a couple of highly requested features that Mozilla has made available in this latest release, most of which I've actually posted on previously when they were in preview, but just quick recaps for the purpose of this video. Now, the first two are for tab groups and starting with number one, Mozilla says you can now focus on just one tab in a group without the clutter. So your active tab now stays in view, keeping things tidy, even with the group collapsed. So if I click on a tab, I have focus on that tab and I collapse the group, you'll see the active tab now stays in view, which I think could be quite handy. And then moving on to the second improvement for tab groups, which is a top requested feature from the Firefox community according to the change log, where you can now drag a tab into a collapsed group without automatically expanding it, which Mozilla says is a quick way to stay organized while minimizing visual distractions. So if I collapse that tab group, I can now drag this tab into that and over that collapsed tab group, and you can see it pops that into the collapsed group, which I think is a nice move if you are using tab groups in the browser. So two improvements for tab groups, lots of focus on that. And then the next is profile management, which I posted on a couple of days ago. I'll leave the video linked because this is a big one for a lot of um, users of the browser, which is now available to all users globally. Now, Although Mozilla is saying that I'm not seeing it in both my stable versions on both my devices. So, so it could be on a controlled rollout, although the release notes say it's rolling out globally. But nonetheless, so basically what profile management is all about, Mozilla says it helps protect your privacy and stay focused by separating your online life into distinct profiles. For work, school, vacation, planning, or whatever you choose, you can now name your profiles and customize them with avatars and color themes for easy recognition, then quickly switch between them, all while keeping bookmarks, tabs, and browsing history completely separate. Now, although I haven't received it in the stable version, I'm just going to head over to the nightly version, which is the early preview version, where the feature is working. And if we head to our main menu, profiles, here we go, we can manage our profiles. So you can create a profile, you can delete your profile, you can edit your profile. Yeah, you've got a name, you've got the themes and so on. Check the video out. This is just a very quick recap just to get through this video because there's quite a lot to get through. I'll leave that video linked regarding profile management, which is also a highly requested feature that's now available in version 144. And now for the next feature, it's regarding picture in picture mode, pip as it's known. So if I just quickly head into my YouTube channel so we can get a video playing. So I'm just going to head into a video so we can just get a picture in picture pip window. Now what Mozilla says is that you can now close a picture in picture window without pausing the video. So what you do now is you press shift and you click on the close button. There we go. And that video is still playing without being paused, or if we head back into another pip window, or you can use shift and escape to exit while keeping playback uninterrupted. Shift and escape, and that carries on playing without being interrupted. So if you are using the pip window, that could be a nice move in the right direction. Now for the next one, I'm just going to mention this. Logins, Mozilla says, stored in the Firefox Password Manager are now encrypted on disk using a modern encryption scheme known as AES-256-CBC 
replacing the older 3DES CBC. The reason for this, Mozilla says, this change improves local data protection. Just take note though that logins synced through the Firefox sync remain end-to-end -end encrypted and already use AES 256 GCM. Now here's another feature I posted on just the other day. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video because Visual Search powered by Google Lens is now available. Now, although this is the case once again, I'm not seeing it. And it's rolling out as a feature for 144. So maybe this is region specific. But once again, I can head back to the nightly version just to show you what this is all about. And if I quickly head into my channel so I can just right click on an image. If I right click, here we see search image with Google Lens, which is a new feature. I posted on this the other day. I'll leave the video link for what it's worth. It'll give you a lot more info. If you click on that search image with Google Lens, it's in the right click context menu. And you can find similar products, places, or objects. You can copy, translate, or search text from images. You can get inspiration, Mozilla says, for learning, travel, or shopping. So that's that search images with Google Lens. So that's search images with Google Lens, which is now available in Firefox 144, although I'm not seeing it as yet. And here's another feature I'm not seeing, which is apparently is rolling out with version 144. But nonetheless, Mozilla says, on desktop, Firefox now includes Perplexity, which is an AI-powered answer engine built into the browser. Perplexity, it says, delivers direct conversational answers to complex questions, helping you get quick summaries, accurate references, or creative inspiration without digging through multiple sources. With Mozilla saying it's available worldwide from the address bar via the unified search button. If we click on that, I'm seeing no perplexity. So still not available in my region. Go check it out. Maybe you've got better luck than me. And then just to mention a couple more, Mozilla says the following languages are now available for translation. Azerbaijani, Bangla and Icelandic. And sticking with translation, Mozilla says the following languages have improved translation quality. Arabic, Bulgarian, Catalan, Chinese, Simplified, Czech, Dutch, Estonian, Finnish, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Persian, Spanish, and Ukrainian. And then just to mention the last change on Windows, Mozilla says when opening a link from another application, Firefox will only use a window on the current virtual desktop or open a new window if needed. So quite a lot going on with version 144, as mentioned. And a couple of long and highly requested features have made their way into this latest stable release, most of which I've covered previously. And some, although Mozilla says they're available, I'm still not seeing. Go check it out. Maybe you've got better luck than me. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.